Next, let's talk about our new yield farming program. This program was designed in collaboration with the community and then voted on through our governance system. There's three main activities to think about with our new yield farming system. First, Sunday token holders can lock up their Sunday and use that as voting power to decide which pools receive rewards. So for example, I may lock up my Sunday and vote that the Ada Mint LP token holders should receive 70% of the daily emissions, the Ada R Berry holders should receive 20%, and Ada S Berry should receive 10%. Collectively, everybody can vote, and they may vote differently. And the idea here is that the Sunday token holders are voting to strategically attract liquidity. So each Sunday token holder is voting on which pools they think are most advantageous for the DEX to attract liquidity to support the trading volume that the ecosystem needs. So collectively, let's say that uh, the vote breaks down in this way, uh, in this example. We then take the top 80th percentile of pools to earn rewards. And this is to filter out kind of the long tail end and keep those rewards attractive for and concentrated within those most highly delegated pools. What the 80th percentile means is basically we sort them from most to least and we keep taking pools until we reach a cumulative percentage greater than 80. So in this example, we would take Ada Mint because it has 70%. That's still below 80, so we would take another pool, Ada Arberry, and that cumulatively represents 90% of the delegation, and so we would stop there. Next, liquidity providers can lock up their LP tokens for these pools. You can lock up any LP token at any time, just in case it might receive uh, rewards from one day the, to the next. And you can unlock at any time with no penalty. Right now, with the system that the DAO has voted on, there's no penalty for unlocking. So for example, I may lock up 10K ADA worth of ADA Mint, 11K worth of ADA Arberry, and 12K worth of ADA Esberry. We then distribute a daily emission of Sunday tokens to these liquidity providers and they earn those rewards. So in this example, I may have earned, um, and I earn those rewards in proportion to how much I lock up um, from that pool. Uh, in this example, maybe I earned uh, 200K from the Ada Mint pool and 100K Sunday from the Ada S Berry pool or Ada R Berry pool. Now in practice, that's then split among everybody who voted. So these pools would earn those amounts, and then I would earn a, a portion of that. Right now, the daily emission is 444,115 Sunday per day. This was chosen by the DAO by a governance vote um, as it expends 75% of the treasury over the next four years. There is then every 90 days a governance vote to adjust that emission either up or down depending on what the DAO thinks is needed by the tokenomics. So now let's get into a demo of how that would look in the UI. So I've connected a wallet here in the preview environment. I have some ADA, Arberry, and some ADA Indie tokens. Let's see how I can use these to participate in yield farming on the preview environment. First, I'm gonna come to this yield farming tab, which shows up once I've connected my wallet. Now I'll add a disclaimer here that we're currently reworking how this UI works to make it a little bit more intuitive, but the basic ideas should still be the same. So the first thing I need to do is create a position. This is where I lock up any tokens that, that I wanna lock up. So this may be, in this example, Arberry, which is our voting token, but it may also be some LP tokens. So I'll just start with Arberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my position and this is gonna lock up that 100 Arberry. And it pays this into a smart contract that you have complete control over. You can reclaim your tokens from this contract at any point in time. Once that transaction settles on chain, you can see that I now have some Arberry locked. This token is the voting token on preview that I can go ahead and create a delegation. We have multiple different programs running, so this may give you some idea of how the yield farming may evolve in the future. But I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Arberry voting weight. I'm gonna vote for the Ada T Indie pool. And I'm gonna give it 100% of my delegation. I 
I also went in and filled in these other ones, although they won't be relevant for the demo today. Again, once that transaction settles on chain, you'll now see both your position, which is all of your locked tokens, and your delegation, which is what you are voting for. In this case, I am voting with 100 Arberry for the Ada T Indy uh, pool. But I want to earn rewards as well. And so I have some Ada T Indy tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and update my position and add those tokens. Finally, now that I have these LP tokens, they will, in theory, provided this pool is earning rewards, start earning daily rewards. You can see which pools are earning rewards, either while adding your position or over on the pools tab. Now this is preview, so these numbers are gonna be a little bit wonky, but you can see that there are different delegations that are earning different amounts of rewards. Now let me switch to a wallet that has already, that has already earned some rewards. Over here, you see that I've earned some rewards from the yield farming programs that I'm participating in. At any time, I can go ahead and claim those rewards and it will build a transaction that pays those rewards to my wallet. There's no transaction fee for this, except for the Cardano transaction fee. And unlocking your LP tokens doesn't forfeit these rewards like it did in yield farming V1. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer for how to get started with yield farming and how yield farming is intended to work. Just keep in mind that this UI might change as we incorporate feedback from the community.